Another day, another part. Um, I'm gonna film this Quentin Tarantino style. We're gonna cut and edit, yo. I'm in my Sunday best right now, but you're gonna see in a couple seconds I'm gonna be dressed in my, my normal crap. Um, I ordered from Quadratech, uh, Rust Busters, uh, right hand coil spring um, bracket, because this one's all rusted out, you're about to see. Now I always go over, I look for the cheapest parts, but I only, don't always buy the cheapest part, parts. But I do try by American. I actually thought Rust Buster was an American company. I was wrong. Made in China. Come on. Now, if you're interested, when you see the video clip come back to me in the nice clothing, that's where I'm going to tell you the measurements and show you how it's all done. I lied to you about the rust. I'm sorry. Um, we got to change over the perch. I bought these from uh, Rust Busters. I tried to get the closest thing I can get to the other side that they replaced, which is not exactly 100%, but I'll show you. Uh, my biggest issue with this is coming over here is when I took the isolator off, I pretty much found holes all in here. It's kind of weak, so I figure since I cut everything else apart, let's finish this off. Now, my one issue is I've replaced everything, the back, arm, the back brace, the back horn, the arms, the center, Basically, this is all cut apart, so there's really nothing 100% original to measure off of. So what I'm going to do is basically, I know this piece right here and the other side is 100% correct because I squared it off, um, like Ronnie Mac said, squared it off 69 times. Um, so I know this is squared off, so I'm happy with this. So let me show you the other side real quick. The lights are done from the last video. I put a... Uh, my last coat of, um, what do call fill on there. I got new hinges for the tailgate and the cable, so that'll be done. I'm happy about that. Over here, if you could take a look at this one, this is different. This is a little bit longer, and this is set forward a little bit more. So I'm dealing with all different measurements here. So I figured a way, I mean, so I can't really measure, I can measure here to there, but the measurements are gonna be a little bit off. So I figure the best way to do this is I figured something out and I'm happy about that. What I did is, okay. I basically put a bolt in here and I tightened it up and it's centered. I'm gonna use this as my plumb bob. So I'm gonna take a string with a nut on it. I'm gonna put this on, come on over here. I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna clamp it and I'm gonna do the same to the other side with the nut. And I'm gonna have that string hang down. I got my bolt here. And then I'm gonna measure from here to the string hanging. And that should be about, you know, it should be exactly the same. So as long as this was um, squared off, if you have original arms, that nut coming down, it should be the same. I took a measurement straight up from here to here also. Um, and it's about 18 inches. So I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what's gonna be on this one. And we're later on in the video, we're gonna talk about the backside because the tub is in the way for the backside. So if you're gonna do the backside, um, you're gonna have to lift the tub up or I'll show you what I'm gonna do a little bit later. First, let me cut this in, I'll be right back. Like I said, I'm gonna I cut that line, cut that one, came down, came down. I didn't go too deep. You gotta be careful not to go into the frame. You know, you might nick the frame, that's not a big deal. Now, this is loose. I'm gonna take a big crowbar and bend this downward, and then that should give me enough room for a reciprocal saw to go and follow the frame cut on the other one. That way, I don't have to climb underneath with a grinder and there's that much room back there. So once I get this totally cut off, I'll be back. Put a little pressure to see, as you can see, I think it was rusted more than I expected. I mean, this literally tore off the whole back hinge. So I'm going to focus in. You see how it's all tearing down? So I should be able to cut this off and then get in there and cut that little bracket. But I actually have a feeling most of that bracket's going to be gone. I mean, it's so bad. It's just, I just pushed it down. Holy shit. Oh, I guess I needed it. Okay, you can see that's my first cut. I took my time. And that's pretty even. Now you're gonna run into a problem back there. You see this piece of metal behind there? It's right behind that pillar. That's the body. 
So I'm gonna come from a different angle and I'm gonna just use a tip and try to cut along that arch. And we can clean it up later on. So the main thing is to get this off, the majority of it off, and then we can go in there and clean it up. Okay, here's a better view of what I was talking about, about that angle. So I'm gonna try to get my blade to come here and I clean that up as much as I can. And then the same thing in here, I'm gonna try to cut right in here and clean that out. If I'm lucky, I'll clean a lot of it out. And then I think I actually might be able to, I'm not, I don't think maybe I'll weld all of the bracket, but I might be able to get the bracket without cutting it. Okay, that's all cut up. Um, I didn't even sand it down yet. I gotta sand this down a little bit. You can see, I gotta still weld this. I gotta clamp it down and weld that, but I knew I was taking the axle out, so I couldn't get back here and do it the right way. So I figure I'll do it now. Um, not too bad, not too bad at all. It wasn't as bad as I thought, um, cutting all of it out. Well, let me clean this all up and start test fit fitting. I etch primer it with a weldable primer. I undercoated this already. I did not cut the ears off because I did get on the other side. Um, it came, it was pretty rusted, so it all came off pretty easily. Um, I already welded the other side of this, so that's done. So now I'm gonna place the bracket there. Um, I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna show you how I measured it and it came out to 18 and a half inches and I even squared it for a test fit already. Everything looking like it's coming out right. Let me get this fitted on and I'll show you what I did. Okay, if you fast forward through the video, I'm not gonna get mad, but don't forget that like and subscribe button. The measurements on this was such a pain, like a hemorrhoid, because they're different buckets and trying to make sure that they match up, you think you just put it back, but I wanted it to be as close as possible. The measurement I just gave you a few seconds ago of 18 is wrong because before I welded it, I brought someone else in, we measured it 33, you know, 69 times. Brian Mack, baby, I uh, was say, and what I noticed was I was off by 216, so I knocked it 216, so 18 and a half, 216, and I'm gonna bring you right back. And that's the measurement from this outer edge right here outer edge like basically the center outer edge to this bolt here 18 and a half minus the two sixteenths um and that perfect now i did a secondary measurement from here and we don't have to go pan but toward the back of the frame but because i cut the frame apart mine's gonna be different than yours and that came out equal so this post on both sides is 100 percent correct i've done every measurement it is correct so my advice to you is basically, if you're doing one bucket, check your other bucket. If you have to do two, buy the same bucket and do it at the same time. Because it took me extra couple hours just because I was so anal, I said anal, um, about it. But I, you know, it's holding, it's my spring. So you have to make sure that you're kind of squared off. The product, good price point, it's made solid. Um, if you need a bucket, it's a good bucket. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have some new stuff coming that I'm super happy about. I'm finally putting stuff on the Jeep. I'm not taking off. Um, all I got left is I'm going over all my welds and making sure that if I have to re-weld it, I'm gonna make sure that they're you know, somewhat secure. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. And I think that's it, man.